How's it going guys, Gwazy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bennett. We're going to go over what artifacts you should be using, what substats you should be looking for on those artifacts, as well as how to properly implement him into the party so that he's benefiting your party as well as possible. So, I'm going to get right into it. The artifacts that you should be looking for are Crimson Witch of Flames. You obviously want that four-piece set which gives you that increased overload damage and burning damage by 40%, as well as some extra other little stats as well. So we're going to take a look at these. Um, some of my artifacts are level 0. The reason being is I don't like the substats they have. So I'm not going to waste my time leveling up my artifacts if I don't like them. So that's why they're level 0. Uh, the artifacts, or the substats, sorry, that you should be looking for are attack percentage and energy recharge. And the reason why you want energy recharge is because you want to get your Q as quick as possible and ready to use by the time the cooldown is done. So we'll talk about that later once I'm done showing you the artifacts. But yeah, we'll just get into that. So this is a prime example of what you want. Attack percentage, energy recharge, the other ones don't really matter. Obviously it would be good if you had like maybe crit rate and crit damage. That would be like a like the best you can get. But the main two that you want are attack percentage and energy recharge. So this one is a little different. As you can see, obviously. The reason why I'm using this is because energy recharge is on the main stat. And I also have two attack bonuses on the sub stats. So I think that... Those are kind of okay, and also I don't need a crimson one because I already have the four piece set, so that's why I'm using just a random hourglass. Um, but I think that the energy recharge may actually be benefiting me more over attack percentage because it allows me to get my Q quicker, so that's why I'm using that. This one, this is another one that doesn't have good substats, so that's why it's level zero. Not going to waste my time upgrading it. Um, still looking for that energy recharge and attack percentage. Even though the attack percentage is on the main stat, I'm going to just wait and see if I can get another one with energy recharge in the substat, and then I'll start up upgrading that. This one, this one's another good one. Attack percentage, 40%. Energy recharge, 12%. Now it doesn't have attack percentage in the substat, but it does have crit damage, which is also 15%, which I think is good enough to substitute for attack. So yeah, that's kind of uh, kind of what we're looking at. I'll go through them one more time. If you guys need to pause the video and look at them a little more closer, then do that. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's go into his talents now. So this is the main reason why you're using Bennett probably, which is his Q. Uh, his Q is a, it like kind of leaps forward, smashes the ground, and it's kind of sort of spawns a circle of fire. And in that circle, if the health of a character in the circle is equal to or falls below 70%, their health will continuously regenerate regeneration skills based on Bennett's max HP. Also, if the health of a character in the circle is higher than 70%, they gain an attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack. So, if you look right here, that attack bonus ratio is 70%, and then the HP that you're getting is 7.5% max HP plus 765. So it says, let's go look at it again, the attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack HP. So you're getting 70% of this right here, that 514. Now, another thing you want to make sure Bennett is, is max level. You want to make sure Bennett is as max level as you can be, because the only way to increase this attack is to increase his level, or increase his uh, weapon level. Those are the only two ways to l increase that base attack. And the higher the base attack is, the higher attack percentage, or the higher attack you're going to gain when using his Q. So yeah, that's what you want to make sure you got on Bennett. Um, I think that's it for me. Here's my uh, stats, or my details by the way. We have 162% energy recharge, so that's super good. 
Um, and then, yeah, so I think that's it for that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now the proper way, or how I feel like is the proper way to use Bennett. So we're just going to go into this domain really quick. Alright, so, what you're going to want to do is you'll start out with Bennett, obviously, and then you'll go... Now what you want to do is you want to use your E, because that's how you draw in energy from enemies. So you'll use your E, and you could switch to whatever character you want. You want to make sure that you're back on Bennett to use his E by the time uh, the E cooldown is done. Jeez, dude, I am getting destroyed right now. But yeah, so you'll use the E, switch to any character, whatever DPS character you got. Go back to Bennett, make sure that his E is ready, and then use it. And then that's kind of what the whole premise of uh, using Bennett is. So do your damage on your main DPS, switch back to Bennett, just to get that E so you can recharge that Q. And kind of just keep going back and forth. So now we got the Q again, although I can't move because we got icicles falling on us. And even though we have that Q now, we still want to use um, use his E to keep drawing in that energy. So, um. We got it again now. Oh, well, we killed him. But that's the whole kind of premise of how to use Bennett, in my opinion. Obviously, it's kind of annoying switching back and forth because you're not really doing that much damage if you have to constantly switch back and forth. But maybe if you want, you could just wait. Like, once you get the Q, you can just wait a little bit. Or you can level up Bennett. Um, if you have, like, good enough artifacts, you can make it do more damage, obviously, so it's not that much of a burden. Um, but obviously it's just different, however people play, everyone plays different, so this is just like kind of the super spidey meta if you were to use Bennett, in my opinion. But uh, I'm going to show you one without talking because I feel like I could focus more. Um, and then we'll just end the video there. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching, hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later.